Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to make one of these low poly fragmented portraits. So you'll remember a little while ago I made a low poly portrait. I'll just refresh you how to do that quickly and then I'll show you how to make one of these fragmented ones with the drop shadow. Okay, first of all, I'm just going to hide all the layers. And show you what happens. So you start with a portrait. Once you've got a portrait, you use the magnetic lasso tool to draw some triangle shapes on top of it. Once you've done that, you use the eyedropper tool to select the colour, create a new layer, and bucket fill the colour into the triangle. Once you've got the triangles, you will have something that looks like this which will be your low poly portrait. Like I say, I'll put a link in the description below to the video where I showed you how to do some more detail. But basically that is the gist of making a low poly portrait. Lots of triangles and then use the lasso tool to cut them all out. Now what we need to do now is using the same tool, we're going to go through and select half of our head. So we'll go around the outside first. Down here. Here. Following the edges of the triangles so that we have got the bit that we're going to fragment out like so, like so, we will have this flashing edge. We will then make sure we're on a low poly layer and we will control X on the keyboard or edit cut. I'm going to hide that one and then we'll go edit paste and you can see we've got that section cut out here which we'll then use to do our fragmented bit with. Okay I've got one of those I prepared earlier so we'll use those and you will see if I hide that one this is the bit we're going to be cutting out individual triangles from this to create lots and lots of cut out triangles. Okay so I'll show you how to do that first of all. From here you can either use the lasso tool again to draw the shape but that could take quite some time. So instead you can use the magic wand tool. I would suggest you put a low tolerance of one or two so you don't get the wrong bits. You click on the correct layer and then you click on the triangles and it will select it. Once you load that, you go edit, cut, edit, paste, and you'll see that it will have pasted the triangle, which you can then move slightly further away from the area that you just cut out. So I'll show you how to do that again for one more. Make sure you go back to the layer with the image on. Use the magic wand to select from the triangles, edit, cut, or control X, edit, paste, or control V. And you just move that one out slightly as well. I'll do the last little bit of this so you get the idea. Let's go to the magic wand tool, click on the triangle, edit, cut, edit, paste, and the move tool, move it out slightly so you can see we're starting to get that fragmented effect. I'll just hide those layers and I'll show you what I did before. So I start, <clears throat> started off cutting out the different triangles and ended up with an awful lot of layers as you can see here. So these all go together like so. If I put the original half of the face back as well, you can see how it's starting to fragment out from that. This is a great way to make a, an animation if you're interested in animations by just opening and closing these layers you can create a really exciting animation to show how the face fragments and you can do, there's another tutorial i'll put a link in the description as well for that one that shows you how to do a fragmented animation with a slightly different effect so anyway once we've got all these triangles you can see that they're spreading out further and further afield so that as i go up here i'm just going to do the last really quickly 
All of these are parts of the low poly portrait. So you've got the next lot. And you can see that they radiate out from the eye to create this really cool effect. I'll do the last few here. And it looks like that. Now that's kind of great if you wanted a sort of flat effect. But what I wanted to do now is show you how to do that really cool drop shadow to create that more of a 3D effect from it. So what we need to do, we could do it on each individual layer, but that would take absolutely forever because there's so many layers. So instead, we're going to click on the top layer, press shift on our keyboard, scroll to the bottom of all the layers that we've got selected, and then we're going to right click on the mouse, and we're going to go to where it says merge layers, like so. And you can now see we've got one layer that's all merged together. From this... To get the really cool drop shadow, we're going to need to do a few things. So we're going to right click here and go to where it says blending options up the top. Once we've got blending options, we've got this menu here. I'm going to just drag it over so you can see what's going on. We were looking for a drop shadow, so we're going to click on the drop shadow and it ticks. And we're going to make sure that we are clicking it here as well as the tick so I don't need the outer glow. So we're going to click here. We want to work out what angle we want our drop shadow to come from. So you can see if I move this rolling circle around it will change the direction of my drop shadow. I can then decide how big or small I want to make them by making the distance bigger or smaller. And I can adjust the spread of my drop shadow to see how much drop shadow comes out and also the size of the drop shadow. And I can also adjust the see throughness of it using the opacity. So if I put it at about 55% opaque, make it about 60 points on the distance and the spread of about 25 and the size about 70 or 80. About that. Once I'm happy with what it looks like, I'm going to go over and going to click the OK button, and that will create my drop shadow effect. Now, I also might want to make some adjustments to the image at this point. Maybe give it some more vibrancy. So I change the vibrancy layer here, and maybe give it a little bit more saturation over here as well. I'll click OK to those adjustments, and there is my fragmented low poly portrait okay i hope you've enjoyed watching today's tutorial if you have obviously pop over to the channel hit that subscribe button and tick the notification bell to be notified when i publish new videos and obviously give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and even leave comments if you'd like to see any other videos for me to make in the future okay thank you very much for watching and goodbye have a good day